Hey guys, uh, this is the Killer Nacho again, and I'm on vacation this week. But I pre-recorded this battle uh, that I had the other day with you, and this is against the Grinder, a uh, guy I battled before actually on YouTube. And uh, yeah, he's a somewhat frequent uh, stream viewer, and he got another battle here, and he decided to go for an NU team. Now, right before this battle, I discovered, oh, yeah, Altair is no longer NU, so I had to quickly switch it out with something. Uh, people in the chat suggested Ninjask, although, uh, yeah, I kind of made it a poor ch set. I ended up making it a, uh, you know, a uh, baton passer, but really, I, I shouldn't have done that, because there's nothing on my team, because this team is mostly bulky, and my NU team is, so, uh, yeah, it's obviously not that useful, although I do try to get it off, and uh, he just sets up the Stealth Rock, so... Obviously, Ninjask is not going to be able to switch back in. Now he goes back into Baskelin, and I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet, so now I'm below half. And I just go for the Baton Pass, so that basically just kills off Ninjask, and all I did was uh, get some speed on Cradilly, which is not really that important. So, uh, yeah, I'm already down one Pokemon, basically, and um, let's just say I uh, switched that set up after this battle um, to a more offensive Ninjask set, which I th I'm actually pretty excited about, and uh, I'd look forward to using, but... Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, in my haste, I made a mistake when I uh, tried to quickly include a new member of this team. Anyway, I go down to Dry Toad against Probo Pass, and I decide to go for the Focus Blast, and he obviously does not predict it, takes the X4 hit. He deal does take it pretty well, because Probo Pass has a lot of special defense. But uh, yeah, Dry Toad is looking pretty messed up, though, due to the Toxic that he got off on me. So I go for the Scald against his Majors. I really just do not want him to get a sub, and it looks like be very similar to my set with the sub and probably Calm Mind. But uh, now I do go out in a tank because obviously the toxic damage is going to start racking up, and yeah, he does get off that uh, second sub. I'm hoping Tank can take pretty much anything he wants to do. He ends up going for the Shadow Ball, and yeah, I usually do forget that Steel no longer resists <laughs> Ghost. Um, one of those Generation 6 changes I'm still getting very much used to. Uh, but regardless, uh, I do set up the Stealth Rocks because obviously I'm going to scare him away. He's not going to be able to KO me with Shadow Ball, and obviously he does not want to take, uh, more, uh, what's it gonna call it? Uh, Ga uh, Gyro Ball, or Gyro Ball, that's what it's called. Anyway, so Weezing actually scares me a lot, and, um, basically my one special attacker on this team is Miss Magius. And uh, looking at this team, you know, the, the Weezing really does hurt because a lot of my te this team uh, relies on Toxic Stalling. Both Cradilly and uh, Politoed uh, are kind of uh, walls with uh, Toxic. Regardless, yeah, I set up a sub. He just goes for the U-turn. It doesn't break my sub, which is really awesome for me. And he goes back into Basculin, and I'm just going to go for the Gazing, uh, Dazzling Gleam to get damage. Um, because obviously Fairy is good against fighting. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, he goes for the Aqua Jet to break my sub, and I just go for another sub, uh, and that's a pretty good play for me, because I don't think that is, uh, he can break the sub with one Aqua Jet. Okay, yes, he can. So never mind, that wasn't that good of a play for me. I lied. Anyway, um, yeah, I just do go for another sub. Uh, I don't know why I was doing that, but regardless, it works out for me, because he ends up just going back into his own Miss Magius. Unfortunately, he wins the speed tie, which was really big. Um... Because that's going to break my sub before I'm able to get the Miss Mages. Both of us are timid max speed. So, yeah, that was a speed tie, and I did lose it. And because of that, Miss Mages is not going to have her sub. And, uh, yeah, he goes with the eruption, and thanks to my calm mind, I do live it. But still, would, if I had that sub, it would have been a lot better. Oh, well. Uh, he goes down to Prime Ape now again, and uh, he ends up just going for the U-turn. And he does outspeed me, so now I know for a fact this Prime Ape is uh, Choice Garfed. Um, and unfortunately, that U-turn is able to kill me as he goes out into Weezing. Regardless, I go out into Dustbuster, and yeah, this Weezing is a major problem because I, I, I can't Toxic it. I only have physical attackers left, and this guy definitely has Will-O-Wisp. So I just go for the trick, and I figure, you know, I, it's better just to get you know him a Choice Scarf so he's locked into one move whenever he comes out. Um, it's better than uh, pretty much nothing. Regardless, uh, yeah, he does go for the will o -Wisp and ends up burning Dustbuster, so now Dustbuster is unfortunately pretty useless. Um, as he goes out in a Prime Ape, and I just have to hope Tentacles can live whatever. And he ends up just going for the U-Turn, uh, which I was surprised about, not just going for a super effective uh, fighting move. But uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I just go for the Barrier as he goes into Probo Pass, and Probo Pass is another problem because I can't Toxic this either. So uh, having a Toxic Staller in this team is really hampered by the fact that he has two Pokémon that are both walls and unaffected by Toxic. 
Uh, I probably need to work rework this NU team. Uh, probably re need to rework Dry Toad. Regardless, he ends up going into Weezing now, and I just go for the Scald, uh, figuring that it'll do decent damage to Crowbar Pass or anything he wants to go into, and I might get a burn. I don't get a burn, though. Um, and he does have Thunderbolt, so he's going to kill me with it, although that does give me a free switch into, um, obviously my Steelix, because I know that he's locked into Thunderbolt, and I'm immune to it, so that's all good. So he goes out into Probo Pass now, as I go for the, well, actually, yeah, he ends up going into Probo Pass. I guess it's just his Death Fodder. Um, I don't know why he didn't just switch out into Weezing, but, uh, okay. I guess he just wanted to play it safe and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I go back into Tentacles here because I'm kind of fearing the Flamethrower. He ends up going for Will-O-Wisp, which uh, actually kind of hurts me too because that means that my one attacking move, Rock Slide, would be pretty much useless. Um, oh, well. So, yeah, he goes out into Primeape now as I just go for the Toxic. Um, so that'll get residual damage on Primeape as long as he stays in, although he's probably just going to U-turn, and he does, which uh, unfortunately does kill Cradilly and uh, gives him back a free switch into Weezing. My last Pokemon are Furret and Steelix. I end up going into Furret here just to see... I don't even know why. I knew he was going to lock himself into Flamethrower either way. Was, uh, and I just go for the return, which obviously is uh, not doing as much damage due to the burn. And uh, now, thanks to the Black Sludge and the uh, burn, I'm obviously going to go down, and I'm forced to go into Steelix. Uh, Steelix does live one Flamethrower, but obviously it won't be enough because, uh, yeah, he still has uh, Primeape, and he can obviously revenge kill my tank at that this point. So that was actually a pretty good game, though, the grinder. Thanks for the match. Um, actually pretty close, and uh, I do need to rework the Ninjask and maybe a few other members of this team. I mean, it is NU, and I mainly play this team because it's fun, and it has a lot of my uh, classic favorites. Um, it's Mages, Politoed, Dustbuster, um, but... Uh, it probably could be reworked uh, to make it a little bit better. Anyway, today's question of the day is, what is your favorite weather condition in Generation 6? I mean, I asked this uh, question of the day before, but it's always in previous gen it was always in previous generations. Generation 6 had a few mechanic changes that uh, are interesting for weather. First of all, obviously, uh, the weather move uh, weather abilities are no longer permanent, which is a change I always felt should have been made, you know, right in Gen 5 when they, you know, gave those abilities to normal Pokemon. Uh, anyway, Sunny Day and uh, uh, Rain Dance, anyway. Or not Sunny Day and Rain Dance. They are equivalent to Drizzle and Drought. Anyway, that is a major change. Um, but I still think that Sandstorm is my favorite. I haven't actually built a Sandstorm team yet, but I might be interested in making one, just just for old time's sake. Uh, obviously, Rainy Day... Or Sunny... Rainy Day. Uh... Rain Dance is still pretty strong uh, as a weather condition, but yeah, leave a comment about your favorite uh, weather condition in Generation 6, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.